Assalamualaikum and good day. In this video, we are going to look at binary eutectic phase diagram for no solid solution. Before we begin, we need to know what is eutectic and also what it is mean by no solid solution. Eutectic means the composition of a mixture that has the lowest melting point where the phase simultaneously crystallize from molten solution at this temperature. From this diagram, E will be eutectic point. What does it mean by eutectic is the composition of a mixture at this point, molten solution or liquid phase will turn directly into solid phase over here. This is only happen at eutectic point. I take example for other composition such as over here. You can see that at high temperature, the phase is in liquid and then when the temperature drop, it change into liquid plus solid. And then when further drop, it's changed into solid only. But it did not happen at eutectic point. At eutectic point over here, the phase changed directly from liquid phase into solid phase. No solid solution means where the components are completely soluble in liquid state but complete insoluble in solid state. The example here given is plumbum copper system. Once again, I use this diagram to make you better understand on no solid solution. For no solid solution, at liquid phase, component A and B is completely soluble and then when we change to solid phase the component will divide solid a and solid b they are complete insoluble or we also can say they form separate solid phase the separate solid phase is happen to all composition of a and b it means there are no composition of A and B that mix in solid state. For binary eutectic phase diagram of no solid solution, we need to know the region above line CED. Line CED is over here. Only contain liquid solution only. After that, for line CE and ED, line CE and line ED is over here. The line is liquidus line. Line CFEGD over here, CFEGD is the solidus line. Region below line FEG, line FEG is over here, is the region where mixture of solid A and B. It means that below FEG only have solid phase only. And there are two solid phases which are solid phase A and solid phase B. At point E, it is eutectic point. Eutectic point means the lowest temperature at which liquid solution can exist. As I mentioned before, eutectic point is where the liquid change directly into solid after eutectic temperature. 
for binary eutectic phase diagram of no solid solution, we will use the same step as what we have learned in binary isomorphous system where we use the five step solution. The first step, we find the phase or phases present. The second step is we find the composition of liquid and composition of solid. The third step, we find the wake fraction of liquid and wake fraction of solid. The fourth step, we find the microstructure. And the fifth step, we draw the cooling curve. All the five steps that we learned in binary isomorphous phase diagram can be used for binary eutectic phase diagram of no solid solution. For example, to find the phases present, we just need to know the temperature and the composition and then we can pinpoint the location and find the phases present at that location. For example, over here, we only have liquid phase. Over here, we have liquid plus solid phase. And over here, we have solid plus solid phase. In binary isomorphous phase diagram, we don't have solid plus solid phase because the solid mixed together in solid state or we can say it is completely soluble but for no solid solution the two components will form separate solid phase as you can see in this diagram for second step where we find the composition also the same as when we find at binary isomorphous phase diagram the difference is we need to know what line we are going to draw. For example, take at point P over here to find the composition of liquid. We need to draw a straight line until liquid is line and then look at the composition. We get Cl or composition of liquid. To find the composition of solid at point P, we need to draw a straight line from point P until solidus line over here and then we get the composition of solid over here. For the third step, to find the weight fraction of liquid and weight fraction of solid, still the same as binary isomorphous phase diagram, we need to use the lever rule using the level rule to find weak fraction of liquid we need to draw the straight line from point p until solidus line and to find the weak fraction of solid we need to draw straight line from point p until liquidus line please remember the level rule so that you are not confused with how to find composition and how to find the weight fraction. I hope you can differentiate how to find weight fraction and how to find composition. For the fourth step, the microstructure of eutectic is different than binary isomorphous. I will explain later in the later slide. And for the fifth step, cooling curve, the way to draw the cooling curve is almost the same. I will show you in later slide also. To find the microstructure for binary eutectic phase diagram of no solid solution, first thing we need to know eutectic and then we also need to know hypoeutectic and hyper eutectic eutectic hypo and hyper eutectic will tell you 
what microstructure will be produced when the element solidify. As we can see in this diagram, the eutectic point is over here and then composition on the left of eutectic is under hypo-eutectic over here and then for the composition on the right hand side of eutectic will be known as hyper-eutectic we can also say that hypo-eutectic happen before we meet eutectic point and hyper-eutectic happen after the eutectic point For binary eutectic phase diagram of no solid solution at the eutectic point, you can see this figure over here. Where for the microstructure, you can see eutectic alpha separate with eutectic beta, or we also call it as solid alpha plus solid beta. They form separately in lamella eutectic structure. Lamella is the layer by layer. You can see over here the red one as eutectic alpha and the blue one as the eutectic beta. The eutectic microstructure forms in the alternating layers which is known as lamella. Once again, I told you, this microstructure only occurs at eutectic composition only, where eutectic point and eutectic temperature is also there. Microstructure for binary eutectic phase diagram of no solid solution on hypo-eutectic and hyper-eutectic is different than microstructure below eutectic point at eutectic composition for hypo eutectic alloy when the composition of an alloy place it to the left of the eutectic point the first solid to form is primary alpha or we also known as pro eutectic alpha you can see that before this, when we look at microstructure at eutectic point, we cannot see pro-eutectic. We only can see eutectic beta and eutectic alpha only at eutectic point. But for hypo and hyper-eutectic, you can see pro-eutectic. For example, at hypo-eutectic region, first, the microstructure will develop pro eutectoid alpha where we can see we have pro alpha and over here we have liquid after the alloy fully solidified we will see that the lamella structure will occurs on all of the structure outside the pro eutectic alpha like this so the lamella structure will be eutectic beta and eutectic alpha. For hyper eutectic alloy is when the composition of an alloy placed in the right of the eutectic point. So the first solid to form is primary beta or we call it as pro eutectic beta. So, after liquid solidify a little bit, the microstructure will form is pro eutectic beta first. Pro eutectic beta, and then this is liquid. After solidify process, solidify, the liquid change into eutectic beta and eutectic alpha and the pro eutectic beta is remain over there please remember microstructure is on our fourth step
now we are going to move on to our fifth step which is cooling curve first we look at cooling curve at eutectic alloy eutectic alloy occurs at eutectic point over here same as single component or pure metal because solidification take place at single temperature even though we have component A and B but at eutectic point we only have single temperature only so the cooling curve will be the same as cooling curve for pure metal the temperature is eutectic temperature for cooling curve at hypo and hyper eutectic to make it easier i will divide by 2 at eutectic first we see at hypo eutectic at certain composition when we draw down the line first we will see the liquidus line so at this temperature we will draw tl or liquid temperature or also known as melting temperature and then when we straight down the line until you take thick temperature we will get the solidus line or we write down as you take thick temperature because for you take thick phase diagram the lowest solidification temperature is eutectic temperature and then when we further down our arrow or our line we get only solid region where we will have solid A and solid B phase so this is the example of cooling curve at hypo or hyper eutectic alloy you can see there is a little bit different from binary isomorphous phase diagram cooling curve for first part from liquid it is the same where it's going down and then for second part it is the same for solidification process just it is a bit curved and then for the third part we have solidification at constant temperature it is the same as pure metal after that we have the solid cooling line okay so once again i show you we have four this is one two three and four curve for binary eutectic phase diagram of no solid solution cooling curve at hypo and hyper eutectic alloy so once again i show you we have five steps just the same as in binary isomorphous i already teach you all these five steps for binary eutectic phase diagram of no solid solution you can keep on repeating this video we will do the example in another video and with that Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.